shooting, the most fun part of the game. What really determines how great a player you ultimately become. And this is something like everything else that you absolutely have to practice for a lifetime. We start with our stance. Everything comes with the good balance. Right-handed player, the right foot, just about 18 inches in front of the left foot. Always able to make that rocker step drive. The ball right here off of your shoulder. This is something you have to practice in front of the mirror and get comfortable and confident with who and what you are as a basketball player. And then you just release the ball and practice releasing with a high stretch. And the whole body motion comes through time and time again with the elbow and the snap and the follow through coming right off of that shoulder. And the constant repetition. What are the four laws of learning? Demonstration, imitation, correction, and repetition, repetition, repetition. Do this thousands of times, and then we add the basketball. Triple threat position, good stance. You have the ball right here, ready to do whatever you want, dribble, pass, or shoot. And now you have to take the step forward and the shot up to get the arc, to get the momentum, to get the rhythm, most importantly, to get the elevation and the distance. As we constantly shoot up, Take a step forward, it can even be a jump shot once you get comfortable there, and that constant sense of flicking that ball, just that little tiny flick right there. You don't have to shoot it very high, you just flick it up a little bit. And I can remember as a young boy, practicing my shot, practicing my flick, seeing how close I could get to the ceiling, and oh, did my parents ever get mad as I ultimately wore a hole in that ceiling. Building, creating, that's what basketball is all about. Stacking layer upon layer of skills. And now, as we're working on the jump shot, which is the same as a set shot, which is the same as a free throw, which is the same as any other shot, because your shot has to be an exact duplication and replica the same every single time so you give it the greatest chance of going in. Why would you ever take a shot that was not something you've worked on 10 million times. So after you've done all the routines that we've come to at this point, now you add the jump to it. But everything has to be the same. And when you find yourself looking in from that mirror, watching yourself doing this all the time, think of every little part. Think of the balance in the feet. Think of the, the flexibility in the hips. Think of the location of the ball. Think of the step forward. Think of the snap through. And then it all comes together as the package becomes complete with the executed jump shot. And notice how when they land, they land in perfect position so they're ready to go right back up. And remember, in all the drills that we do, basketball, a game of motion is not about jumping from having your two feet planted to the ground. Always take that step forward. That step forward will give you momentum. When you're learning how to do this, drop the foot back to then come into it. Give you more momentum, more motion. That'll give you the rhythm. That'll give you the comfort level of becoming an outstanding and fluid basketball player. You don't want to be static. You don't want to be robotic. You want to be someone who looks like they've been doing this their entire lives. Layups. Everybody thinks it's the simplest part of the game. Why can't people make them? Maybe they don't practice. Maybe they don't understand the fundamentals. Fortunately, here at Sports School, we have expert clinicians who are going to demonstrate how to make layups, starting with the right hand, the strong side for most players. They'll come right in off the dribble, and they extend out, taking the ball up with two hands, dropping off the offhand at the last moment, and then laying the ball up underhand. The rotation, the skill, and remember that basketball is about horizontal jumping, not about vertical jumping. Don't come underneath the basket and then jump up. Jump from just the outside of the lane. Realize where you can extend to. Learn and experiment the footwork, the running, to take full advantage of that full step and a half that you are allowed to get to the hoop in rotation. Now, after we've done the underhand layups, now we turn to the overhand layups. No dribbling, you have to be on the move, shooting with the overhand. The ball is moving quicker, 
surging all the time, ever faster, ever faster. And now, as we've mastered the right-handed layups, now we move to the left-hand side. And the drill remains the same, we just change it around. Flip-flop, get in front of that mirror, learn how to execute. We first come in with the dribble, two hands on the ball, the last minute and it drops off the off hand to lay it up. High off the glass, execution. Jumping from the lane, the free throw line, not jumping up, but jumping out. Putting the ball high on the square, using that backboard all the time. Now, how do we get the sense of learning to coordinate the left leg with the right arm and the right leg with the left arm? Think of yourselves, mimic me guys. You got a big X here. This right arm goes with your left leg. This left arm goes with your right leg. And so you have to practice coming at the mirror and making this move here to where you learn how to coordinate the body at all times. And then we back up and we start the same thing again. Learning how to make that move, that coordination up and down the street. This is where it all starts, the fundamentals, so that it's automatic every time you're in that situation so that your body has memorized all these moves. And then when you're out there on the court and you're playing full speed up and down and there's 25,000 fans and millions upon millions of people watching you on television, you don't have to see scratching your head and say, okay now, is it my left leg that I jump off? Or, no, because you've already spent a lifetime here with the sports school videos learning how to do it all and now you've incorporated it into your total package. Free throws. They're free, so make them and take them all. Once you're up at the free throw line, have a rhythm. And that rhythm can be totally up to you. That is an individual thing. Keep it simple and keep it very concise. So you get up there, deep breath. Find your feet. Know where they are. Get a good balance. Same as your jump shot, imaginary, in front of that mirror at home. And every time you shoot a shot, whatever shot it is, free throw, three-pointer, hook shot, jump hook, drop step, finger roll, you name the shot, the eyes have to be on the target. Do not watch the ball. Maybe it's okay to watch the ball when you're dribbling it one, two, three times. Concentration, think, rhythm, routine, predictability, get up there and become one of the greatest free throw shooters in the history of the game. Guys like Steve Nash, Rick Barry, Calvin Murphy, Reggie Miller, all these legendary players who stand up there and take at the free throw line the same shot that they take wherever they are on the court. The only thing that's different is that you're standing totally still and there's nobody pushing, grabbing, trying to strip the ball. Makes it even tougher. It looks easy and it sounds easy because it's free, but when you got to be the guy that stands up there and win the world championship with everything on your shoulders because you have to make three free throws with no time left on the clock, then you know you've become a real player. The rhythm, the balance, the sense. Don't spend all time looking down. See that basket. The earlier you see it, the better. The flexibility, the delivery, the same routine every single time. Don't rock forward. Wait till that last moment. Notice that you have to get the momentum for your shot. I've seen some players have actual footwork involved in their free throws. Two of the greatest I ever saw. Pete Maravich and Bob McAdoo would start with their right leg back and they would then swing it forward to get that rhythm of knocking it down. Then there's the other guys, Wilt, Shaq, and the guys that can't make a single one. That's not where we want to go today here at Sports School. We're about success at the free throw line. 